Have you ever imagined that a storm on Earth could impact the environment in space? Surprisingly, new research has shown that lightning storms don't just influence our weather, but also play a crucial role in space weather. These storms can dislodge high-energy electrons, called killer electrons, from the inner radiation belt surrounding Earth. These particles can pose significant risks to satellites and even astronauts. In this video, we'll explore this fascinating discovery, how it happens, and why it's crucial for our understanding of space and satellite safety. The inner radiation belt around Earth has long been considered a relatively stable region in space. Scientists assumed it mainly contained lower energy particles, which posed little threat to satellites or human space activity. However, a team of researchers led by Max Feinlin from the University of Colorado Boulder has recently found high energy electrons in this supposedly stable region, which challenges our previous understanding of Earth's radiation belts. Using data from NASA's decommissioned SAMPEX satellite, the researchers identified 45 electron surges in the inner belt from 1996 to 2006. These surges were linked to lightning strikes on Earth. What was previously considered an inactive zone for high energy particles turned out to be more dynamic and hazardous than we had ever imagined. High energy electrons, known as killer electrons, were found in this inner radiation belt, and they can be damaging to both electronics and satellites and humans in space. Researchers discovered that the resulting radio waves travel into space when lightning strikes, knocking electrons loose from the radiation belt. This electron, rain, is something scientists had never fully measured before in the inner belt. When lightning strikes, it doesn't just light up the sky, it also sends powerful radio waves deep into space. These waves collide with electrons trapped in the Earth's inner radiation belt, shaking them loose in a process called lightning-induced electron precipitation. Think of it like shaking an umbrella to dislodge water droplets. This effect is one of the primary ways these high-energy, killer electrons are knocked free from the inner radiation belt, posing a threat to the satellites orbiting above us. But the process doesn't stop there. After a lightning strike, these radio waves trigger what can be described as a cosmic pinball effect. Electrons start bouncing between Earth's northern and southern hemispheres at incredible speeds. This can happen within 0.2 seconds, faster than the blink of an eye. Each time the electrons bounce, some of them escape the radiation belt and fall into Earth's atmosphere. This discovery highlights just how unpredictable space weather can be. The notion that a lightning storm in North America could affect a satellite orbiting thousands of miles above Earth is both awe-inspiring and a little terrifying. It underscores the fact that Earth's atmosphere and space are intricately connected. Everyday weather events can influence the space environment in unexpected ways. Killer electrons are far more dangerous than their lower energy counterparts because they can penetrate even the most advanced shielding used on satellites, leading to severe electronic malfunctions. In space, electronics are highly vulnerable, and when these particles hit sensitive components, they can cause short circuits or electrical discharges, which could disable critical systems. The threat extends beyond electronics to human space missions. Astronauts on the International Space Station, ISS, or future deep space missions face potential health risks from these particles. When high energy electrons penetrate the spacecraft's shielding, they could expose astronauts to harmful radiation, increasing the likelihood of radiation sickness or long-term health issues, including cancer. The study of the Van Allen radiation belts through NASA's Van Allen probes, which have been operational since 2012, has revealed how solar activity significantly energizes electrons in the outer belt. During periods of intense solar storms, the sun releases vast amounts of charged particles that get trapped in Earth's magnetic field, filling the outer radiation belt with high energy electrons. These killer electrons, energized by solar activity, 
are similar in behavior to those triggered by lightning strikes in the inner belt. What makes this discovery even more critical is that it shows the dangers posed by these electrons are not isolated to solar events. Terrestrial weather events like lightning can now be added to the list of space weather influencers. The Van Allen probe's findings highlight how solar activity and lightning together represent a twofold threat to both satellites and astronauts. This revelation stresses the need for protective measures and improved forecasting models to predict high energy electron events more accurately. Another fascinating element is the role of Whistler waves in influencing the behavior of killer electrons in the radiation belts. Whistler waves are low frequency electromagnetic waves generated by lightning and can scatter high energy electrons. NASA's Themis mission has shown that these waves can dislodge electrons from their usual orbits, sending them spiraling down toward Earth's atmosphere. In fact, these Whistler waves act like invisible conductors of space weather, determining where and when high energy electron precipitation will occur. This is similar to how solar winds influence electron behavior during solar storms, reinforcing the idea that space weather is influenced both from above, like solar activity, and from below, like terrestrial events like lightning. This new knowledge about Whistler waves highlights the complexity of space weather and shows that we must consider Earth's weather and solar activity when assessing risks to space operations. As our reliance on satellites and space missions continues to grow, predicting and mitigating these space weather events will be crucial for safeguarding both technology and human life in space. If in space. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting discoveries about our planet and beyond.